All right, I made this little motor uh, about two years ago, and I found it in the cupboard. I forgot I made it, and um, I made it because I got a little tin boat, and unlike a um, stand electric motor, which is quiet, I just wanted something kind of noisy that um, you know uh, uh, resembled an, a um, a gas motor. So I want the little tin boat to pump pump along and make noise like it's like it's got a nice little engine in it. Well, the problem with these style of solenoid driven motors, which on YouTube there's the little V8s and V6s and V4s, is they're not really good design because because a little conrod here pulls on on an angle. So see, you see the rods on an angle and you can see the, the piston in there. It's had a bit of running, so it's actually starting to wear a bit. I was playing with it for a little while back then, but uh, what happens is they start to wear because when it fires and then lets go, the con rod's on an angle, which is pulling the, the, the piston. This is replacing the piston. The, the rod, the shaft, the rod in there is connected to the con rod, the, the, the fat one, which is what's getting sucked up into the, um, into the field under magnetic force once the, the field is ignited. It's ignited by a little micro switch here connected to a battery. And um, this one's supposed to be a 2 amp 12 volt, uh, which is 24 watts, but considering it's only firing for about a third of the stroke, you could probably say it's 8 watts, really, when it's running. But um, I'm only getting about... Uh, 4 watts or so. Oh, no, I'm getting 8 watts there. Driving a little propeller. Got the can. Cam's like an offset egg, so it fires just after bottom dead centre and then stops at, at top dead centre. Just you see, if I roll it backwards, it kicks. So it, um, it doesn't pull over the top, it just fires on one side, which is roughly a third of the stroke. A third of the um, uh, 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 rotation of the crank so you know the the um, get less power than what it's supposed to well, it's on 16 volt that's why I'm getting a few more it's getting 8 watts or so but it's supposed to be efficient in that but there's heaps of these on eBay I wouldn't buy one the little V8 and that because because this ends up wobbly you know it all ends up wobbly and then you've got to keep it all lubed all this shaft and that, so it's not something you can actually run for a long time without having to re-lube it all. But uh, I'll make another one. I've ordered a different type of a lifting magnet, so that'll just pull a plate straight at it, which um, I can change it. So there's not a shaft rubbing up through the middle like this one, which is having a crank. If, if you made a it straight down with a rocker on the bottom and then the rocker had a rod coming up and turning a piston then that would be better at least it's kind of pulling straight up and down but still you've got a shaft rubbing up and down which you've got to keep lubed which um, will make all this get hot anyway so you know I, I could do a different design which is just a plate that's slamming in a while but just not touching the a lifting magnet instead of this kind of shaft up through the middle but she runs all right as you can see oh it was oh the, the little micro switch is a bit iffy micro switch needs a new one probably playing up a little bit yeah, it just doesn't have enough power i need at least 24 or probably more watts to put it in the boat and um that will have a what sounds like a little I see engine. Yeah, switch is playing up. Anyway. That's it.